You guys, I'm so excited. I you seeing the ring lights? The legendary ring lights. This is for y'all. <laughs> Welcome to Vicky's Gospel Show. <laughs> it's a Friday. It's a Friday. Ah, uh, yeah. Hope you've had a lovely week. Hope you've had a superb week. Are you seeing the light? Are you seeing the lights? Anyway, let's 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 let's, let's go. Let, let's do what <clears throat> let me do what from here. Uh I would like to talk about honoring your father and mother. Uh, I've been reading um first week, thank you so much for partners. <laughs> the the ring light, the light is here. Today I did the show the um I, 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 I decided to do it at uh, eh, English. I'm excited. I decided to do the show when it's late at a trial. Ring lights. And uh, yeah, it works. It works. It works. So honoring uh, our father and mother. I've been reading your generals and I came across one general called Ivan Roberts. Now, Ivan Roberts. Uh, of course, it's mentioned that uh, growing up, uh, his father... Given a Bible from the day go at, at, at a certain age by 13, he was a peculiar boy in the whole neighborhood. Um, well, <laughs> he had an encounter with the Holy Ghost. He's powerful. He, he's he he led to the Welsh Welsh revival. Yeah, uh, it's called the Welsh revival. Anyhow, for two years, the power of the Lord was hitting Wales, the, 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 the nation of Wales. Those who don't know Wales, uh, that's up in the UK. Uh, huh. I don't really know which one is the United Kingdom and that's Wales and that's Ireland, but it was in Wales and so Ivan Roberts is deep, uh, the power of the Lord is moving mightily, people are moving from all over the world to check out Ivan Roberts, uh, but along the way a certain <laughs> Jezebel came along, she was called uh, Penn Lewis, Mrs. Penn Lewis, and Mrs. Penn Lewis was sort of trying to use um, Ivan Roberts to uh, she had fallen, sort of, you know, like the political say, and so she was trying to find a way of getting back up. So she gets Ivan Roberts and uh, puts him away somewhere. This is when, you know, he's, um, he's having personal issues, he's having some sort of insecurity, and so she gets Ivan Roberts. So, you know, she takes him in, he stays with her, and it's mentioned at some point, Ivan Robert's father comes to visit him and he refuses to see his father. Now he told his father, he cuts, he, he severed ties with the father. He said that, um, hmm, I wish I could read it for you. I'm going to, the link of the blog is going to be in the caption of this video so that you could see what he said exactly. But he sort of severed ties with his father uh, saying that, uh, he has been called to a higher, you know, um, purpose, and he cannot, uh, what's that word exactly? He could not afford blood, you know, uh, blood ties, and, and so he refuses to speak to his father, and uh, he continues in, uh, what's that word called? There's a sequesteredness. Um, you know, this is the time when uh, he used not to rest. He used to like two hours a day. And so at some point he broke down uh, via the ministry. But uh, that part had and uh, Robert's, Robert's lad's son, the, the right of God's generous was saying, whether you don't see eye to eye, ensure never to sever ties with your family. And so I'm here to speak to uh, ministers who are rising, young ministers who are, yeah, this is just to let you know the ring light is still on. <laughs> I'm talking to ministers who are, are deep. This, I'm, I'm talking to you who has been raised by your father or mother. If you have one, if they have played a role <laughs> in, in so doing. Let me give an example. I, obviously, when my dad passed on in 2000, my mom obviously was there. She taught us how to pray every night. 
and I'm here. Many of you know Biggie, like spraying, like spraying. And I remember one time, somewhere, all right, somewhere, I don't know whether I was 18 or 19. Uh, my mom, of course, my dad was Catholic, mom was an Anglican, but somewhere um, the born again thing got her, so I got born again. But I remember one time when my mom kept on talking about Catholics. Hey, Catholics are so humble when they're approaching the altar. Hey, Catholics are, uh, are calm and gentle. Hey, Catholics, everything was about Catholics. I was like, Jesus Christ, Manaki. Catholics. So I did to, uh, and then of course she kept on claiming uh, about, she, she, she used to say this thing of, um, there's a spirit of rejection in your father's bloodline. I'm like, Manaki. You know, I, I, I was trying to convince her that behold, all things are new. If anyone born in Christ, uh, he's a new creation. It's a new, you know, uh, the old is gone, the, the spirit of rejection, what, what, it's all gone. And at some point when I was weighed down, I started to sort of look down on my mom, the lady who brought me up and told me how to pray. <laughs> the Lord appeared to me. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> anyway, he didn't actually slap me, but God, of course, reminded me of the roles my mom had played and and <laughs> kick out the pride stay humble yes you may be more anointed than your parents yes you may be more rich or richer than the people who led you to christ the people who have discipled you the people who have told you everything you know um in the lord I, I know she didn't exactly walk with me the journey of discipleship but at least she sowed the seed of prayer and she sowed the seed of the word she used to read the word every night pray every night coming i'm going to come just a minute sorry they're calling me for divinity <laughs> orange i love orange people so um yes i know my mom at some point every child of course leaves the house um, but i'm not saying i left in a bad way i'm just saying of course i want to boy in school who's going to help you there mom had planted a seed and, and, and i know that you know she carried me in her womb and when I was trying to raise my voice, God reminded me that, hey, she played a critical role in your being. She, oh, you people sing Biggie's gospel show. People like Biggie, the man, gay Biggie. But she sowed the fat seed, you know. And I remember the day the Lord told me, I was like, okay, God, I'm sorry. It was a sackcloth and ashes. <laughs> yeah, so I'm talking to you, anointed one, deep one. Yeah, maybe your parents, didn't they didn't teach you all that you know in the word, but uh, I don't know, it may not be a parent, maybe that one person who along your spiritual journey, they did something great in your life. Don't look down on them at any one time. Honor them. Honor your father and mother. Uh, the Bible says in Exodus. <laughs> I didn't write the notes. I went <laughs> express. Uh, so that the days uh, on your life may be long. Um, I'll share that scripture in, in, the, in the blog. So I'm here to encourage each one of us. Uh, to honor the people that God uh, sent before us, and to speak ill about them, even when we seem to be, um, what's what's the right word, greater in some terms than them. But it, it's not necessarily meaning that you're greater than them in any sense, but, you know, staying humble. You may get more revelation than them. You may have more understanding of God uh, more than them, but um, stay humble. Uh, stay humble. Yeah, so honor them, and so obviously the story still ends well for Ivan Robert. He, after the lady who drove him away in ministry, who sort of um, manipulated him in ministry, when she died, she was able to return home. They received his love, they forgave him, and ministry went back. And of course, Ivan Robert, uh, the other story I learned from this is obviously he had the anointing, he led a revival, and of course, he had those setbacks. People were hurt when he disappeared from the public. And at some point, someone may think, oh my God, God has left. No, remember that in Hebrews 13.5, he said he would never leave you nor forsake you. So I learned that God will never leave you. Maybe you're a minister and you may be like, oh God, the power has left. Oh, you, you've gone into hiding or cave of Adulam or, mm, I don't know, you've sort of disappeared from the scene. Yes, and the voices are telling you, you no longer matter. Yes, you do. God hasn't left you. While you're in the wilderness, God has not left you. So keep confident. Uh, keep honoring the people who have discipled you, the people who have raised you, or even if it's your mother or father who had so ever kind of figure that was there for you.
you know, Christian life or spiritual life. One of them. Don't look down at them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's it for today. Uh, God bless you so much. Beautiful weekend. Ring light is still on. <laughs> Bye.